Distinguished guests, friends, family, and Roy, <laughs> on behalf of my wife and I, <laughs> we'd like to thank you once again for joining us on our special day here at Lucky's House. It wouldn't be the same without you. It would be considerably cheaper. <laughs> As most of you know, I'm quite nervous, so I'm going to make sure there's plenty of toast today to help my nerves. Firstly, I want to thank Bobby for his kind words and bravery going first with these speeches. I can remember it very clearly. It was nearly two and a half years ago, on the 6th of December 2014, I got down on both knees and begged Bobby to pay for us. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say a massive thank you for everything Jean and Bobby have done for us to make this day special to us both. I was invited over to stay after Jay's surprise birthday, and in the morning, Pippa got up and stole a toast from his hand. <laughs> Trust me, it's no worth it. I've <laughs> reminded of it every day since. Whilst on the other hand, Jean has always loved me. Ever since that day, I was to stay. I wasn't to leave. I was just to stay. Every morning, I woke up, breakfast was made for me, a packed lunch in the fridge, waiting for me to go to work. Stuart and Stephen and Stacey warned me she would change, but not at all. No one was under our roof. Jean and Bobby are great with us. They're like our financial advisors, lawyer slash citizens advice bureau, decorators, dog watchers, gardener, handyman. Well, to be fair, that last one's buddy. <laughs> but he claims to have taught him daily. And I just want to make a promise while everyone is here. Bobby and Jean, I promise I'll always love Stacey. I will always cherish her and she will always be protected. Can I, uh, can everyone raise a glass to my new mum and dad, Jean and Bobby? Now, if everybody can give me a loud round of applause or some whipping or some whistling, as I now have to give a special mention to the two best dressed guests here today, Jeannie and Katie. Uh, page <laughs> nine. Bridesmaids, Natalie, Amy, Iona, and Jade. I think everyone would agree with me that Iona, you look beautiful today. <laughs> and the rest, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank each of you for everything you've ever done for Stacey, and also for all the support you've given her, leading her up to this wedding. It means a lot to me that you all mean a lot to Stacey. So again, everyone, if you could all just raise a toast to the bridesmaids. Cheers, I just get drunk instead. The ushers, Stuart and Stephen, are now otherwise known as my two new brothers. I gave you both two jobs to do today. One, to make sure everyone gets seated, which you both done great. And the second, <clears throat> the second job was to look good. And although you didn't achieve it, I <laughs> <laughs> So again, if everyone can raise a glass to my ushers, Stuart and Stephen. <laughs> Tell you the answer I gave, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you. When my mum died, 
day, Brian took two weeks off, he's working to sit with me. He sat me with me I cried. He sat me with me I stayed in the space. He sat with me with me I hated life. Brian would do anything for you. He's someone I would trust, not only in my life, but the lives of everyone I cared about the most. That shows what kind of man he is, and why I could not ask for a better best man. Thank you for everything he's done for me just now, but for everything we know for the last 14 years. So can okay, I again everyone raise a glass to my best man, Brian? Right. Right. Good job. <laughs> Her and Joyce would have been upstairs at one point, tying our bed sheets together. <laughs> <laughs> Mum sacrificed a lot for me, and isn't it until someone is not here you realise just how much? She would have loved nothing more to be sitting here with you all today. <laughs> Again? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on Stacey and our family and showing it off to you. Stacey and I, a few weeks ago, met with Barry for our best of photographer. And we've got all my close family members with photographs. She's asking Stacey about her mum and her dad, her aunt, her grand, her grandpa, and giving her names. They come to me and ask, and I had to tell my mum it's not longer here. Same with my grandparents, and my aunts and uncles weren't invited to food day. But I did tell them, my other aunts and uncles, that were coming, and they made me like a, a strange look. See, to me, family is about blood, or a surname. <laughs> family is about loyalty, love, trust, and friendship. Mum's friends were my aunts and uncles growing up. As they would do anything, as she would do anything for them, they would do anything for her, and I mean anything. Just ask Jean Kane about the Christmas speech in 2003. <laughs> and I just want to mention each of you now, I'm not going to look at you, just going to Lynn and Ian, Jean and Alec, Joyce and Rob, Ellen and Fiona, Susan and John, Lynn and Bob, Janice, Aunt Martin and Uncle David. Thank you for everything you've done for me, and you always have a pack of art. Because you played a part in holding this fine specimen. <laughs> <laughs> as well as my own, there's others who are unable to thank you today. We know they're all here in spirit, and most certainly in our hearts and thoughts. So, in, in honour of all of them, can we please raise a glass again for we to absent friends and family? <laughs> I want my beautiful wife, Stacey, my wife. Yeah. I can't put it in the box, it's just like how good it feels to call you that. I said, watch you, watch you down now. As I watched you walk down now today through glazed eyes and tears. I mean, I, it made me realise how lucky I really am. You're absolutely beautiful and I love you so much. Thank you for marrying me and making me the proudest man in the world. Today I got to marry my best friend and I now look forward to a life together. I found this would be really difficult to write about Stacey and to put into words just how much I love her, but words just kind of describe just how much she means to me. Stacey hates having a lot of attention, so I'm going to stop there and she will hit me. She will hit me. <laughs> <laughs> before I do, can you please be upstanding and raise your glasses to my beautiful wife, to Stacey Lister. Oh, Stacey Lister. <laughs> Now, I'm going to hand you over to my best man. Before I do, I forgot to tell you, Ellen, that the lawyer is a good guy. Brian is a compulsive liar. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever he says, don't believe him. He's a great friend, but I'm not sure. Thank you.